Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Waldemar Art. And today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a bicycle right over here. Just like that, okay? Uh, so if you haven't uh, drawn a bicycle before, or if you don't know how to draw bicycles, I'm going to show you how to draw with basic shapes. So basic shapes are a square, a circle, triangle and a cylinder and I'm going to show you how to break that down and then also show you how to like sketch everything down first before you start drawing that shape so if you haven't drawn a bicycle before or you want to learn I want you to pause this video go grab a piece of paper a eraser and a pencil and then uh, come on back and then try to draw the bicycle on your own first after you draw the bicycle on your own play the video and then that's how you're gonna learn and by the end of the video I promise you that you'll remember how to draw a bicycle on your own so here we go let's get started okay so I hope you guys uh, uh, try to draw the bicycle and see how it, that turned out and then uh, come back to this video so I'm gonna show you guys how to draw with the four basic shapes but before we start drawing let me explain the four basic shapes the first one, and I'll draw this in marker over here so you, you'll, you'll see it. The first shape is a square. Okay, so a four-sided shape. So when I say square, uh, you, you could be a rectangle, like any kind, of uh, any kind of shape. The second shape is a circle. Okay. Uh, the third shape is a triangle. And the fourth shape, can any of you, any of you guys guess? Yes, the fourth shape is a cylinder. Okay, so this is a cylinder. Okay, so these are the four basic shapes of drawing. A square, a circle, a triangle, and a cylinder. Now, I should explain. When you draw a cylinder, anytime you draw a cylinder, that oval, that curve over here, should be the same curve down here. So if you drew the, if you drew the cylinder like this, that is wrong because this should follow the same curve. Now, at the same time, imagine you had a mirror image. Like if you flop this over, this curve is the same as this curve. So if you drew a cylinder, that curve is the same here, here, and there. And this is a mirror image on this side. So if you had a, um, a cylinder that's this rounded of a shape and you draw the bottom part, this curve, is the same as this curve. If your cylinder is flat, like so, and then you draw the bottom part, this curve is the same as this curve. You guys see that? So this curve is consistent throughout. That's just one of the things that uh, you should remember when drawing with four basic shapes. So again, we have the square as one shape, the circle as another shape, the triangle, and then we have the cylinder. Now uh, we're gonna work on that bicycle. Remember um, how we can remember the bicycle that you drew earlier. How can we incorporate these shapes? What kind of shapes does a bicycle have? So I'm gonna start sketching it out first. So with when I'm drawing, usually I'll sketch everything out first, and if the sketch looks okay, then I'll start drawing in the details. So with a bicycle, I'm gonna use the uh, a pencil to sketch. So I'm gonna sketch a triangle. An upside down triangle like this sketch very lightly and then I'll sketch another triangle right here and I'll sketch another triangle so these triangles are just right next to each other and however wide you know what now I, sh I should explain now if you drew a ball here and you drew like say let's call this a golf ball okay so this is a, a small size and I drew a tennis ball okay like that and it gets larger and then I drew like a basketball okay now proportions are very important so when you're drawing keep in mind you have to think of the different size of the shape in proportion to one another in order to be able to sketch things in proportion that's very important so these are like a uh, different type of shapes now so for the bicycle frame we have these three triangles Next, I'm going to sketch the wheels. Now, however wide this triangle is, I'm going to sketch the wheel the same width. See that? Now, if I sketch the wheel too small, that'll be, that'll be just too small. So you want them to be kind of the same width. So here's a circle here, and I'll sketch another circle right over here. 
you see how that's turning turning out to like a bicycle already just by using a uh, triangle here a triangle here a triangle and a circle and a circle here now i'm going to take a little bit a step further we're going to need a seat so what shape can we use for the seat is it going to be a triangle no it's not going to be a triangle a circle no maybe a square shape it could be a square shape or a rectangle so i'm going to sketch the rectangle like right over there how about the handlebars? What kind of handlebars uh, are we talking about? Maybe we'll draw like a, a square shape or a circle, whatever you like. And then the handlebars are gonna be right there. How about the pedals? What shape can we use of these four shapes? We can use uh, the pedal, we, the spokes, the thing that spins, we can draw that circle, sketch, sketch that circle right over here. And then the pedals, we can use this shape. Okay, like a rectangle shape right here. And then the thing that connects the the pedal to that round part is another longer rectangle shape. Okay, just like that. And we'll put this one in the back. Okay, so this is my skeleton, the sketch that I did for the bicycle. I'm going to continue adding more sketches. This is like an in, in, inner circle and another circle. Now I'm going to start drawing it. Uh, I'm going to start drawing it with the marker so you can uh, see. So with the, with the sketch, I have, have everything already. And then now I'm just going to start drawing. I won't use every line that, I, that I've that i drawn, uh, that I sketch. But instead, I'll just draw a lot around it. So I'll draw around here. Okay, you see how I'm using my, my skeleton, my sketch? Right over here. I'm just basically just going over my lines. Not going over, going around. Like this. So we have that. The pedal, we're just going to draw the pedal right over here. And it just connects right over here. And then the other side. And then we have this round part. Round part right over here. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the wheels. Okay. I'm going to use this, this sketch. Okay. So right over here, I'm going to draw this wheel. And then this wheel. Okay. So I'm... Basically, what I'm drawing right now, I'm using my sketch from sketching out these uh, shapes. Okay, so right here, I'll draw this shape, this shape like this. Okay, right over here, I'll draw around right over here. And I'll draw this around here. See that? And then the seat, I'm going to draw the seat. Uh, let's make this like a, a fancy seat right over there. And then we'll just connect this together. The handlebars, we're gonna we're gonna draw the handlebars maybe like this, like a rectangle shape, and this one just connects right over there. Okay, uh, make a little handlebar like that. Okay, we're gonna continue. Uh, there's like a chain over here that connects from here to here. We're just gonna connect. You can, if you want it, you can even sketch that square line over here. Okay, so if you sketch that square line, you can just draw the chain right behind that wheel. Uh, that wheel. And then we can use, like, here's the center of the wheel. We can start drawing triangles. So imagine you're drawing triangle shapes like this, as long as all your points are pointing towards the middle. So here, I'm going to sketch it out in pencil so you can see it. Just triangle shapes, just random triangle shapes over here. Same for this wheel. These are the, the spokes of the uh, bicycle. And then I'll just draw those lines. It's triangle. Triangle. They're pointing towards the center right over there. Same for the side. Triangle. And then I'll just crisscross some of them. As long as you're pointing towards the center right over there. Okay. So we have, we have your basic uh, drawing of a bicycle. Now, what if I wanted to draw like something in real life? So let me let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna we're gonna sketch we're gonna so I made a print out of this. So we're gonna try to draw this bicycle exactly how this looks, and then we're gonna start uh, breaking out uh, the shapes over here. So looking here, let's zoom in, zoom in a little bit. Okay, so right here I'm gonna use this pencil, use this blue marker to show you the the, the shapes. So here I see this tri this triangle shape. Right over here, there's that triangle. You see that triangle? And then there's another triangle right here. See that? And then that triangle right over here. Okay, but this, only this time, the triangle, the angles are different. 
Okay, they're not perfectly triangle. They're leaning a little bit. Okay, here's that square shape. Here's that square shape here. Here's that brown petal that we talked about earlier. Here's this one. You see how this one's smaller, this one's bigger? And then you have that bar here, and then you have the circles. Okay, you see all that? Okay, now I'm going to zoom back out, and then we're, we're going to start drawing this. Okay. So having having that shape here, I'm going to sketch, I'm going to look at the same angles. So instead of drawing the triangle like how I drew it earlier for the demonstration, we're going to draw it following that same angle. So right over here, I'm going to sketch right here, sketch that triangle. See that triangle I'm sketching? Just follow this. Sketch that triangle. Okay, make sure it's the same angle. Okay, you want those lines to be parallel to each other. Okay, you're, you're going to have this triangle. That's the second triangle. And then you have this triangle. This triangle is smaller, so we're going to sketch that triangle smaller. Okay? And then we have this circle right here. This circle is larger. And then you have the back circle, which is smaller. Okay? And then you're going to have this bigger wheel. This big this circle here almost touches this triangle. So when you're drawing, you're looking at your drawing, and then you're looking at your uh, the object, and then you can sketch that object in. Okay? Just like that. And then the back wheel, you want those both wheels to be the same height. So however tall this bicycle is, you're going to have that bicycle the same, the, the wheels. Okay, I, I'm going to move this over, over to make sure it's in the center. Okay. And then you have the seat. The seat is way up here. Okay. Remember, proportions. If, you're, if your circle is this big, the seat is that small. Make sure the proportions are, you know, in proportion to one another. And then you have this. Okay, and then you go back and then you, I, I'll, what I'll do is I'll sketch a little bit more, make sure I like the sketches. And then when I'm happy with the sketch, then I'll start drawing it. The pedal, the pedal is like uh, right over here. Okay, so I'm looking at my sketch with this sketch. So when I sketch, I do, I'll do a lot of this because uh, when I start drawing, I'll pick my best fit line and I'll start drawing it. Okay, so right here, that's the angle. You see how my sketch of this bicycle is different than this bicycle? Because I was looking at this one. Now we're going to start drawing it, okay? We're going to use, I'm going to use the same pencil, but only this time I'm going to draw darker. So looking, looking here, let's look at this, let's look at this. Uh, work. Let's cover up this bicycle so it doesn't distract you. We're going to have this pedal right over here. Maybe to, to here. That was a little bit too long. And then I'm going to start drawing the rest of the bicycle. I'll draw this a little bit quicker so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then inside the circle, I'll, I'll see this zoom in a little bit. Okay. Inside the circle, we'll, we'll, I see all the, uh, the details. So I can start drawing the details in there. So this looks like a little star for me right over here. And then I'll draw this frame from here to here. Okay, again, look at the angle. I'm following the angle. Okay, now this line, I'm going to follow that same angle. I'm going to draw that line from here to here. Okay, and then the top of the frame, you see the angle? We're going to keep that same angle. From here to here. Like that. And then we have the front, this line here, we're going to follow that from here to here. So we're going to draw this from here to here. And then the rest of the details, you can just go back and then draw in all the details. Okay. And then just like a, a little break thing over here. We'll just draw that in later. We have the handlebars. We're just going to follow the handlebars. Like that. And then we have the seat over here. This curves in. And then we have the seat. Okay. So right here, we're going to start... See that rectangular shape that I sketched out earlier? We're going to follow that same shape. We're going to draw these curves inside that square, square shape. See that? Okay, as close as you can. And then now the back of the frame, this angle, you want to keep that same angle with this. So right over here, we're going to draw that angle. Every bicycle is uh, made differently. So uh, you, you can look at the, the bicycle like, in your garage or go go online and then look at that bicycle okay so here's this this part okay and then we're gonna draw the chain the chain goes from here to here okay I, i'm gonna erase this one it's a little bit 
we're gonna have this a little bit higher. Okay, so there's here's this part, and then this one curves upwards. Okay, this one curves uh, this way. Okay, so the bottom of the frame, let me fix the bottom of the frame. This is the bottom of the frame. Okay, and then we're gonna have the front wheel. Okay, right up here, give that wheel a thickness. Okay, that's gonna be uh, all, uh, shaded all back. And then we have the back wheel. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shading in the wheel. Okay, I'm gonna shade in the first wheel first. Okay, so we have that wheel. And then we're gonna do the back wheel. I'm gonna move this back a little bit because I want this to be centered. So we're gonna erase this a little bit. We're gonna move this back a little bit right over there. Okay, we're gonna adjust this. Okay, and then now we're gonna have make sure this is in the center. So I'm moving things around, and then we have those uh, spokes. We're gonna follow the same spokes, the same angle as best as we can. Okay, I'm just gonna start adding more. Okay, give that little darkness right over there. Okay, and then back here we're gonna darken up this one. Uh, let's let's tighten up this. Okay, give those lines here. Follow as best as you can. Okay, this one's dark. I'm gonna darken up this one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a marker. This will make it quicker. So here's the wheel. Okay, here's this part. Here's the back wheel. There we go, here's the seat. Just get color in, here's the handlebar. Okay, so now now we have the bicycle, and then the rest is just adding in the details. So right here, there's the uh, the brakes. I'm gonna draw the brakes over here, connect the wires, which is just a line right over here, and then right here, here's a little brake brake pad thing over here. We're just gonna draw that here, and then the bicycle. We have all that. And we're just gonna darken up uh, some of uh, the black areas. With the with this, and then we have the pedals, and then we have we have that, and then uh, some some of you um you can use an eraser for this. I'm gonna start erasing all my uh, pencil sketch line. You can use a, a regular eraser or a neat eraser. If you have a neat eraser, what I'll usually do is after I sketch out, I could just go back over it here, and I'll I'll just roll my neat eraser, and if you sketch uh, just right and you don't sketch too hard it, it usually removes all your sketch lines so this makes it easier if you don't have a needy eraser you can just use a regular eraser and just just lightly kind of go back over it to erase all those lines okay so now we have the bicycle we're going to continue drawing more spokes like this okay and then now the bicycle we're just going to add a little bit of shading on one side Okay, and then the bottom side here, and then the bottom side over here. Just to give it details, okay? And if you guys wanted to take it a step further, you can uh, get like a, an inking pen. Uh, if, you, if you guys have an inking pen, uh, or you can just use a pencil, and then just go back over your pencil lines. This is the inking stage right over here. This is my favorite thing to do when I'm uh, drawing. I, li I like doing the uh, the inking part of it just to complete it. Okay, so remember the four basic shapes. Uh, that is the square, the circle, and the triangle. If you can draw those four shapes, you can pretty much draw anything. As long as you're able to uh, sketch everything out first with those four, bas uh, those four basic shapes, the circle, triangle, uh, square, and the cylinder. 
once you sketch everything out uh, and everything looks good, then you can start drawing in detail, which is just going over the line. The most important thing when you're drawing is uh, making sure everything is in, por in proportion first. So I'm going to continue drawing the rest of this just to finish it off. Okay, right over here. Okay, and then the spokes go back over here. We're going to do this a little bit quicker and then just add more lines right over here, finish it off. Okay, we're going to add, and then here's a chain. Chain goes right over here, chain goes here. Okay, and then we have the back. And then the inside bicycle, there's an in, inner, there's a metal part where the spokes uh, connects before it touches the, uh, the wheel. And, and if you guys have circle templates, of course, it'll be easier. Okay. But uh, if you if you don't, just, just freehand it, uh, freehand everything first. Okay. Here's that wheel. Here's that wheel. We're going to go around here. And then I'm going to quickly ink the rest of the spokes. You can just draw this as long as, remember, all these point towards the middle. Okay. And then kind of darken up one side, darken up one side. And then here's a brick pad over here. And then just the wire connects here. And then here's a little uh, screws. It's like uh, here. And just, just add, the rest is just adding little details afterwards. See, and there's a the bicycle. So I hope you are able to learn how to draw a bicycle. Remember, uh, to draw a bike, it's using uh, these four basic shapes. Sketch it out first and then draw it. Now, as a bonus, as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to draw a water bottle here. So if I'm sketching a water bottle, a water bottle is basically, I'll show you. A water bottle is basically a cylinder and then another bigger cylinder. And then just curves in here like that. Okay, you see that water bottle? And then when I'm drawing that cylinder, we'll have the spout. Okay, see how I'm using my sketches? And then we have this part, the part that opens up. And you have this part of the water bottle. And you go around. Remember the curve, the curve I'll tell you about? You want to keep that same curve. So you have the water bottle. And I, if I wanted to draw that water bottle in here, what I'll do is I'll sketch that shape first. Sketch that cylinder. Draw it here. Let's draw another water bottle, water, water bottle here. So another cylinder here. Okay. So after sketching it, uh, I am going to go back directly and I'm going to start inking it. So right over here, we're going to have a small cylinder. We have another cylinder here. Here. This one goes around. And this one goes over here. Here's one water bottle. That's a narrow water bottle. We're going to make that a little bit thicker. Okay, and then we have another water bottle. You have a small cylinder, a larger cylinder. Draw that. You have this curve here. And right over here. And then we're going to draw a, a cage around it. Okay, so like right here, that's it just it's a cage that holds, holds around there. Okay, and there you have it. That's the uh, bicycle. Let's compare. Let's look at the bicycle. And there you have it. That's drawing a bicycle with the four basic shapes. I hope you um, enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed this, comment down below and I'll show you how to draw more objects in different uh, using uh, the same four shapes. It's uh, with a little bit of practice, you, you'll get used to it. There you go. So that's it. That's the drawing of the bicycle. Okay. And all we use were those four basic shapes. What are those four basic shapes? Those shapes are the square, the circle, the triangle, and the cylinder. So I hope you enjoyed this series of how to draw videos. I'll be making more. If there's a specific topic that you want me to go over, uh, comment down below and I'll look over it. And there's a good chance that I'll be making the video as well. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, hit that notification bell. Um, that notification bell, anytime there's a new video that I put out, you'll be one of the first to know. Uh, check out my website. My website is waldenwongart.com. Uh, I'll put that uh, right over here. And if you want, you can support over on Patreon. Uh, my Patreon page is patreon.com slash waldenwongart. Uh, I'll put that right over here as well. And 
before we go, if you want to show me your bicycle, the bicycle that you've drawn, hashtag me if you have Instagram. Hashtag me at Walden Wong Art right over here. If you post that up, I'll see it and then I'll comment on it. I would love to see how your work turned out and how you drew the bicycle. So until then, keep on drawing and have fun. Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.